time to Zertastic, and in this episode, we're going to be diving deep on bees. Why? Because bees are pretty cool, and they're pretty great, and we would not have much food in this world when it comes to plants, or probably anything if we didn't have bees. It's very important that we have pollinators. One, it helps the plants grow on the planet, and we need plants to help keep the planet healthy. They also help produce the food that we eat, or if you eat animals, then they need plants to eat too. So it's very important to have bees and take care of our planet and our environment. They do a massive job beyond just producing honey. So did you know, did you know this? Are you ready? It's really crazy. Did you know that bees flap their wings, their wings 200 times per second? That is 12,000 times per minute. They flap their wings that much. I know, I, I read that and I was like, are you serious? That is the craziest thing. So you know what? I think that we should try flapping our wings really fast and see how many times we can flap in 10 seconds and hopefully you can do better than me. Are you ready? Get your wings out, cause I'm gonna go for it too. Ready? really intense. My heart rate just went up to 100. <laughs> Woo! All right. You know, if you start your day every day flapping like a bee, you'd be ready for every single day. Now, if you did that bee flapping wing challenge, hit like on this video so we can see how many people participated in seeing how awesome bees are and how strong they are in helping keep this world amazing. All right, my friend, this is an art episode. We're gonna be drawing and making some bee art today. So let's grab some art making supplies and let's make some art. Make sure you head on over to artastickids.com where you can access my Artastic Kids membership that you can stream on any device, anywhere, anytime. Hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home. Perfect for families and classrooms. Now, before we go and dive in on drawing and making an artwork, we're just going to take a look at the different parts of a bee. All right, so before we go and dive in on creating, our bee art, we're going to look at the different parts of a bee to help us better understand what they look like. So they have a tongue called a proboscis, which is more like a straw-like tongue that they have on their mouth, that is their mouth, that comes out and is used to suck up liquid. So it's like having a straw coming out of your face. But they drink liquid, so they need that to help them drink. Um, they also have pollen baskets on the backs of their legs. Those are these kind of like areas that they keep all the pollen in that they collect when, and then they can carry it back to their hive. Um, and of course they have their abdomen, the head, and a thorax, which are all different parts that we don't have as people. And what's different with bees is that they have, of course, six legs because they're an insect. So now let's head on over to the art studio where we're going to draw a cute bee and then make a bee watercolor painting. Let's draw a bee. So cute. Okay. Big oval for one eye. Big circle. Small circle on the inside. Color in the dark of the eye, leaving those circles nice and white. Then we'll have a curvy line around. Connect. Two 
more circles and color. zigzag lines around for the abdomen to wings the line up the center Then we'll add the bar. Actually, let's add the legs. One oval with two curved lines on either side. Gonna add a little pollen basket on the back one. Curving line along the bottom. And up. Connect it to that wing. Our little stinger at the back. Right, three little curves here. And then we'll add some curving lines for the stripes. And then you can color in the dark of the stripes. Color in our B. I'll leave some white along the top for highlights. And the stripes. I'm going to do a little yellow on the edge of the fuzzy, fuzzy part. Pollen basket. We'll add blue around the blue around the edges of the eyes. And up that center of the wings. And just like oh no, we're not. I almost said we were almost done, but there's no antennae on this little guy. One small one. One big one, and just like that, our B is done. All right, we're gonna make our B watercolor painting. I'm gonna start off with a circle with a curving triangle, I mean, curving rectangle. And we're gonna color in the dark of the eye. Now, it's better to use because we're using watercolor paints. It's better to use permanent marker or black colored pencil or pencil crayon or wax crayon. So it doesn't blend or bleed. And we'll have our head come around with another little eye peeking out. We'll color that in. Add a little smile.
curving lines with a curving body. Long little stinger. We'll add a really cute set of wings. We'll add a line up each one. Coloring in the stinger black. And then we can add stripes down the body. Add little legs with a palm basket. And then we can add dashes around the background for where the flew. It also adds a little detail in the background. Okay, and then I guess all I need to do is grab my yellow. We're gonna take our yellow watercolor paint. Add a little bit of blue on the wings. You can add blue as shading on the body. And then we can even add swirls around the background for the wind or air moving around Bumblebee. Just like that, Bumblebee is done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and take me at MizArtTastic or use the hashtag MizArtTastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.